I grew up with Mario way back in the 90s, so it's good to see him back. I've played all the 3D Mario games from Mario 64 till Mario Galaxy 2. If I see this, yeah, it brings really back some memories. In Sunshine and Mario 64, it was more about exploring, and this game is also more about exploring. It's only this time, it's much more bigger and intenser than it ever was. These levels are very open, very expansive, and you can move in any direction you like, which I, I really enjoyed that. You're invited to explore and find new bonus things hidden. It's amazing the amount of detail you have in the level. It's, a, it's just a whole other uh, level of experience. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Jump up and your cares will soar away. The Sandland was very big, very open, very pretty level, um, but it, it's very expansive and there's no uh, linear progression, so you're free to roam wherever you wish. Uh, the hat is very interesting, there's multiple ways that you can throw the hat. You can uh, take over an enemy like, for instance, a Goomba, and then you can walk uh, through it and the other Goombas won't recognize you. You can uh, take over the bullet bill and then you can yeah, fly towards uh, stones and rocks and you can let them explode. Well, I really liked taking over the Easter Island statue and you could use his shades to see hidden elements in the level, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, I did go shopping, I bought a new fedora for Mario and I bought him a sombrero which is a, looks very fetching in the Sandland. I love to be able to change my character to look the way I want him to look, so I think it's a really nice uh, introduction to the game. The best thing was that uh, short fragment when, you, when the game turns into a 2D platformer, which is so nostalgic. Actually at some point in the level I just uh, went into um, one of the pipes and instead of appearing in some, somewhere else inside the world, I just appeared in, on the wall behind the pipe and it was just 2D so you can just jump, go left and right, just like very classical uh, Super Mario games. It's really fun, Th that's a really cool element. Uh, so I do love the fact that you can switch into handheld and tabletop, um, especially being a bit older, I don't have time to spend so much time in front of the TV so I'm playing on, go on the go quite a lot. Oh, it's the best thing. Like, that's the reason I bought my Switch uh, and uh, that's the reason I know I'm going to buy this game as well because it's great to play Mario games on your TV but it's great to play it any way you can. Like, it's really the big plus for the Switch. I'll be pre-ordering this, I'll be getting this on day one and I'll be playing it non-stop. It was amazing. Um, I was extremely happy while playing it and it's just a whole new level of Mario gameplay, I think. It's really, really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's a shame that they've ended. Uh, the atmosphere, as I said, it sort of keeps that same Mario essence, but then it's new in the 3D world, so going back to the roots of back on the, on the, on the uh, Nintendo 64 and things like that. It's just awesome. It brings really back some memories. Yeah, I'll definitely buy it uh, in October. I see.